Hello there ladies and gentlemen, I am the C-H-A-L-L and today, Chal Chaps Transfer, this is episode 5, the penultimate episode of our six-part recruitment plan series, looking at certain positions for Donk Strobers Football Club this summer under the watchful eye of our new manager, our ex-manager coming back, Super Grant McCann. This episode is focusing on central midfielders, quite a crucial part of the squad and a crucial part of the of the core of the squad as well. We've got Ben Close, we've got Harrison Biggins, we've got the experience of Tommy Rowe, we've got the uh, potential of Liam Ravenhill if he decides to sign a new contract. Um, and we've got some potential stars coming up, I'm sure, through the academy. So it's all about the central midfield today. So before we get started, please do like, comment, subscribe, cut that case bell to name YouTube video. We're on the road to 3,000 subs and half a million views. So let's get it there as soon as possible. We're all about news, reviews, interviews, analysis, and all that technical stuff. And for now, guys, let's have a look at my permanent and loanee transfer targets in the centre of midfield. So we're kicking off with Sheffield Wednesday's Dennis Adenarian. The 24-year-old is a physical, powerful midfielder who carries the ball well and can break up the play quite well. He can be a real combative presence on the best of days. And he also likes to be a deep-line playmaker with his ability to dictate tempo and rhythm inside the game with his passing range, especially as a huge trait. Now, the thing with Grant McCann's midfielders is they need to be physical, they need to be combative, they need to carry the play well and drive it forward, and they also need to have that short, sharp passing game that's part of the McCann philosophy. And I think that Dennis Adoniran absolutely fits the bill here. He's from League One, the top end of League One, and uh, if he does decide to leave Wednesday out of contract this summer, I think he's an absolute must in the central midfield in terms of that kind of option. Next up, Cami Palmer of Linfield, 23 years old. And this guy is leaving Linfield, as far as I'm aware, in the summer out of contract, along with another Linfield star. Stay tuned for the next video, the final video of the series for that player. But um, Cami Palmer, for me, would be a wonderful addition to this midfield. Now, he's a great supplier on the ball, great link play midfielder. Um, he's got experience in the qualification stages for the three major European competitions with Linfield in the UEFA Champions League, the UEFA Europa League, and the Europa Conference League. Now, he's got plenty of room to keep developing. However, Cami Palmer, for me personally, would absolutely be the right man for the job. He really does carry the ball well in the midfield, covers a lot of ground, and I think that overall he'd be a very nice looking midfielder. And like I said, plenty of room to grow, plenty of room to develop, and plenty of room to showcase his potential in a Grant McCann side. Next up, Alex Pattison, the guy that many fans rovers say, sign him, sign him, sign him, and I'm saying, sign him. Now he's been released by Harrogate Town this summer, People may look on paper and say Harrogate Town. Why? Look at this guy's stats. Know the facts and know the, know the stats before you judge. Because this guy is an absolute baller. A counter-attacking in centre midfielder which absolutely suits the attacking style of football McCann wants to play. He found the back of the net 18 times and also contributed 12 assists during his 86 appearances for Harrogate Town. He has a knack for scoring goals. He gets into goal scoring uh, positions. Great creativity, carries the ball well, great dribbling, and he's a layer on the line every single week player. Harrogate fans will say the same. Alex Patterson is a layer on the line every single week play. He gives his all for the cause, and he is someone that would wear the Rovers badge with pride every single week of every single month of every single season he's at the club. So Alex Patterson is the right kind of midfielder for a McCann setup and he absolutely suits the way we play and the best bit about it is out of contract, no transfer fee, little bit on the wage here and there and you've got him on a nice long term deal if we can, two, three years if we can. So Alex Patterson for me absolutely suits what we need to be doing in the transfer window in terms of if we're looking for a central midfielder going forward. Next up, a guy who's at Lincoln City, leaving the club this summer out of contract, 24 years old, who, in my personal opinion, has qualities, but I also believe he needs a lot of work, but I think someone like Grant McCann will get a bit of work out of this guy. It is Max Sanders of Lincoln City, energetic, hard-working, defensive-minded, a great engine, a great passing range. He suits a lot 
of the McCann traits. He gives his all. Uh, he's got the confidence as a defensive midfielder, along with the centre-backs and the goalkeeper, etc., to be calm under pressure. And he, can, on his best day, he could try and make things work. So you've got a player here who's got some real potential on his sleeve. And I think that if you get someone like McCann working with him and his coaching staff, you've got someone there who could try and get the best out of a young centre defensive midfielder, who, in my personal opinion, still has a few. It still has loads of years of potential. In his sleeve. So I think that Max Sanders could be a very smart acquisition from League One. And finally, a National League wonder kid who, in my personal opinion, would do fantastic in a Grant McCann setup. Kean Spence of Halifax Town, a clever, technically strong midfielder with a great set of skills. He's a real creator in possession. He beautifully links the play, plays from the deep. Picks up pockets between the lines. He's got a decent shot on him as well. So he's a good shooting midfielder. He's not afraid to have a pop. His movement is impressive. He plays with fluidity. And that's the McCann traits that you start to see. Calmness under pressure. Real passing. Link the play. Pick up the pockets. Fluidity in his play. Impressive movement. A strong defensive midfielder. A big nasty bugger in that centre of midfield. And, you know... Kean Spence, for me, absolutely solidifies what I want to see in a midfielder, and that's physicality on and off the ball and also a presence in there. And I think Kean Spence has shown that as one of the most underrated young midfielders in the National League this season. And I think that you bring him into the Football League and he could thrive under McCann. He could really thrive under the potential. Um, and I think that Kean Spence would be a very smart signing uh, for Dogs to Rovers Football Club. So starting off the lone players is international Maro Bandera of Arsenal's academy. The 19-year-old is an all-action midfielder who possesses defensive qualities, working hard on the attacking side of his game in recent seasons. So he's really been improving the attacking side from youth scout and youth reports. And for me, that's very, very important. Now he's an energetic box-to-box -box midfielder who, like Kean Spence, has that eye for goal. He loves to have a pop from now and then. So, Mauro Bandera, who I believe is eligible for Portuguese representation internationally as well at youth level, is someone who I think has got quite a bright future. Now, he will need that bit of game time and that kind of regular game time to really possess something out of him. But, I feel personally like Mauro will... In my opinion, definitely try. I think he's a trier. He, he has a lot of energy. And you look at the midfielders we've got now with the likes of Harrison Biggins and that. Harrison Biggins, and I think Charlie Lakin at times as well before he got injured before the end of the season. They show what they can do. They're both energetic box-to-box -box midfielders. Matt Smith from Arsenal, who we had a couple of seasons ago now. Uh, of course, it was the season before. You know, he was an energetic box-to-box -box midfielder. He had energy about him. And... Um, for me personally, I think that Mauro Bandera long term fits the bill. So I think that him as a 19 year old from the Arsenal Academy could definitely have potential with regular first team football on loan from the from the Gunners, who obviously sadly are not getting the Premier League title for them this year. So commiserations, Arsenal. Congratulations, Manchester City in time. Next up, a local club. A young lad with a lot of potential, Andre Brooks, the 19-year-old left footed who loves to break forward from the midfield. He's an influencer at the top end of the pitch. He has flair, moves around like an Ndiaye type player, and we've seen the highlights of Ndiaye, especially those who are Sheffield United fans and those who have watched the championship more than any other league this season. You've seen the way Ndiaye moves, just real fluidity and you know, that kind of flair about him. And, you know, he's really an Ndiaye type player. He can go one way or the other, so he can go different directions, which is lovely. He has a nice aura about him when he's on the ball. And he's just a very fluent, attack-minded midfielder. And I think he's that kind of playmaker and that kind of flair and creativity that, the, that a, a Grant McCann side is looking for. And I think that someone like him at 19 years old, who, let's be fair, has got... I think I believe he's had minutes in the championship off the bench once or twice. So I think that he's got that little bit of experience under his belt. But he's definitely a young player um, who's got plenty of potential. And I think that Andre Brooks is definitely someone to keep an eye on for the future. I think he's someone that we should be giving a chance to on a loan spell this summer. 
Next up, a proper defensive midfielder at a young age, Jack Henry Francis of Arsenal. Capable of breaking up the play, initiates attacks, brings a lot of energy, very hard working. His work rate is kind of similar and has been um, sort of targeted and compared to a real Lucas Torreira on his best day. And I think that's potentially very, very exciting. Someone like a Torreira-style work rate midfielder in a McCann-style setup where you're calm under pressure, you're, you're not under pressure for, uh, by the manager to, uh, to calmly and safely you know, play it forward, and um, we need a defend. If, if we're going to bring in a defensive-minded midfielder, we need someone who's going to really do the hold-up play and the donkey work, but someone who's also going to initiate attacks in the McCann style of football, and Jack Henry Francis definitely fits the bill for a young version of a defensive-minded attack-initiated midfielder. Next up, Cameron Humphreys of Ipswich Town, who's got promoted to the championship this season, so congratulations to Kieran McKenna and his Tractor Boys. He usually plays in the left central midfield role, according to a recruitment report, tending to sit deeper and show for the ball. Now, this particular campaign has seen him become a regular McKenna's side amid the shortage of options in his position, thrust into the limelight, performing well alongside Sam Morsey. So in a McCann system where it's a 4-3-3 or a 4-2-3-1 mainly, you're going to have that midfielder next to him. And I think if you sit him alongside Biggins or you sit him alongside Close, I think he could really initiate some stuff. Now, he is expected to potentially be loaned out this uh, summer for next season. Now, with at least 17 appearances in League 1, with a minimum 23% in starting 11, and at least two goals and one assist in the third tier this season, you've got someone there who's got plenty of experience in the division above, and someone who could drop down to League 2 and show them how it's really done. So you've got a fluent midfielder with a bit of creativity about him, who... Uh, as, as, a, as a deeper midfielder has the creativity about him and can definitely do the uh, the flair work and definitely show himself about on the left side, I think that Cameron Humphreys is someone to absolutely watch out for. So please keep your eyes on this guy because uh, he's definitely one for the future. And finally, someone who's had plenty of experience in League 2 this season with Carlisle United on loan from Leeds. It is the 23-year-old who I believe was potentially an option a season or two ago. Alfie McCalment, at least 15 appearances on loan at Carlisle United this season in the regular season. Previous experience in League 1 and 2. He's had a, a period at every level for his country from under 17 upwards. He's got potential, lots of energy. He's a real box-to-box -box midfielder. And I think Alfie McCalment's definitely got a point to prove long term. I think that McCalment for me would, could be a pretty good midfielder. I think Carlisle fans seem to uh, to rate him, rate him quite a bit. So uh, I think Alfie McCalman definitely has a way to go and I think he's got a lot of potential to grow. But I think that overall I think he's quite a solid midfielder who's got experience from League 2 before and I think it could be a smart choice for, for Grant McCann, especially in his kind of system and try and in initiate him into his system and his style of play. So I think McCalman could be a really smart choice here. So there we are ladies and gentlemen that is your centre midfielders both permanent and lone -y. So thank you very much for watching this video guys as always, leave your suggestions in the comments down below and stay tuned tomorrow for the final video of the series, Looking at the Strikers. I am the C-H-A-L-L. Ta-ra for now.